Okay, today we're using our zip drain jetter attachment and uh, we're going to hydro jet some 4 inch cast iron from an overhead in a finished basement. Uh, we have our jetter hose in there attaching our jetter attachment to the head. You can see this is recessed in a wall so this is ideal situation. Use this and keep the customer's house clean. Getting our can set up for our discharge hose. Coupled on our two inch discharge hose. Start jetting. This line has a lot of scale in it. We need the line cast the pipe connection prior to when we need to remove all the scale. You can see right there we have a rubber grommet. We're jetting. 4,000 PSI, 18 gallons a minute. No leaks off the back side of the ground. So we make a couple passes to try to remove all the skin. And you can see with, you know, there's no resistance on the hose. It slides through that grommet with no problem. And it actually kind of works as a squeegee. As we pull the hose out, the hose isn't dripping wet. We're not getting a mess all over the customer floor there. All right, Kev, I think we're good. You there? That sounds a lot better, ain't you? Yeah, I'm gonna come back one more time, quick, and I think we're good. Yeah, you see the big chunks of scale we pulled out. Yep, we're good, Kev. Throttle down, throttle down. Water off, water off. Good. You'll see there's our head right there. So we were able to pull all the right. way back Looks good. into the uh, zip drain yep. uh, without leaving chunks of scale in the uh, sewer. Yeah. So now we're going to... Uh, pump the water back into the sewer uh, so we don't have to carry this out. We have our two inch return hose on there and leave our jetter in there, create the seal for the, uh, for the backside. And we'll uh, return this water without pumping that scale back when we stay at the bottom of the can. See, we got no leaks. And this we just have a regular sump pump on there. Let's see. That's good. That's good. There's everything we pulled out of the sewer. Thanks for watching.